lot of it's been covered, so I'll, I'll just kind of brief, briefly recap. David Walls, Texas uh, Values Action. Um, Nicole with our staff is handing out an email we sent out this morning on three issues that could be before the House today. Um, encourage folks, if they're not on our email list, um, go to txvaluesaction.org, get signed up. Um, that's our um, legislative advocacy website and our uh, the, the main website for Texas Values is just simply txvalues.org. Um, as Ann um, as Ann already mentioned, um, the main one of the main things we're uh, encouraging folks to be uh, talking to and in contact with their state representative uh, this morning today about is um, this is Scott Sanford Religious Freedom Amendment. Just to just to give a little bit more detail um, than what Ann mentioned, uh, essentially this amendment is a is a version of um, Sanford's Bill 3864 uh, that um, had. A lot of support and um, sat on the calendars committee what, for two weeks, three weeks, and died um, what, a, a week and a half ago. Um, and so he has been working diligently to try to get this uh, this important protection amended. This has been this is probably our best and final opportunity to do so. Um, the left has uh, has been radically opposed to everything we do on religious freedom and they have been specifically targeting uh, this uh, effort this amendment uh, for any time there's a whispering of it having life they, they have been attacking it uh, because everything now anything that uses the word religious freedom is an indiana style attack even though this bill has really no relation to to uh, the specific uh, bill that indiana was debating but again this this bill just specifically says that the government cannot um, violate the sincerely held religious beliefs of faith-based uh, child welfare organizations, adoption agencies, and as Dan said, a large portion uh, of those here in the state of Texas are faith-based. Um, um, and all this comes down to their, their view on the issue of marriage, on biblical marriage. As we've seen in Illinois and some other states that have already redefined marriage, uh, you've seen Catholic charities and other adoption agencies essentially have to shut down. Uh, because they have not been allowed uh, to operate uh, according to their uh, radical beliefs that children should be put in a, in a mother's father household. So that would be a travesty to happen. Uh, it is a travesty. It would be terrible to happen here in the state of Texas if we truly care uh, about what's best for our children and, uh, and what's best for religious freedom. Um, members should be very much in support of this amendment. So we encourage folks to contact their uh, state rep. And um, again, it's going to be an amendment offered to SB 206. And it's uh, Representative Scott Sanford who carried successfully carry the Pastor Protection Bill. It's an amendment to that. Um, and in our action alert, we also mentioned, and I, I won't go through it, we've already heard the discussion about uh, the changes to SB 19 and the threats uh, to all of our organizations, uh, even potentially the churches, as, as Tony mentioned, um, we're encouraging folks to um, to reach out. Uh, it may have already been mentioned, but uh, as folks may recall, last last session, uh, Governor Perry actually vetoed a, a bill that did some similar things at the end of the session, calling it a um, saying that kind of legislation would have a chilling effect on First Amendment rights. Um, as folks may remember, these are these are similar type tactic, tactics to what we've seen the IRS do, uh, where the IRS exposed the donors of uh, the National Organization of Marriage and some other pro-marriage organizations, uh, essentially that allow the radical the radical left to go out after donors of, of people that support uh, marriage. And so they this, did it this to would TPPF open up that potential as well. here in Texas. They did it to TPPF as well. Yes, yep, they did it to TPPF as well. If Burke says she won't accept the amendments. Can the members force her? Yes. I mean, they, um, she can, um, you know, motion to table, but then they would have the ability to vote to override that. So um, she's not totally in charge. Right. I mean, the members can offer an amendment, and, and then we can have an up or down vote on the, on the amendment. So. Yeah. So that's SB 19, and then. Um, we also just mentioned our support for SB 575. Are y'all still giving up? Are you giving an update? 
Rifle I have not given up. Okay. I'm mean, You're going to cover that. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let Texas Right to Life cover SB 575. And again, I just want to say thanks to, to Michael and all the groups here for, for the partnership and everything that we've been doing through this session, these meetings. Uh, it, I think it's been a great benefit and look forward to continuing to work together. So thank you. Thanks, Ed, very much. Appreciate that.